Welcome back, Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at L'Hopital's rule being applied to our exponential indeterminate forms. Let's jump right in with our first example. If we have the limit as x goes to infinity of x raised to the one over x power, then if we try to evaluate that, we get x going to infinity, raising that to one over something going to infinity looks like infinity raised to something like zero. This is one of our exponential indeterminate forms. So what we're going to do to be able to apply L'Hopital's rule is actually use properties of logs to get this one over x power out of the exponent. So to do that, we're going to take and we're going to say, okay, this limit, if it exists, let's call it L, L for limit. So L is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of x to the one over x power. Now, again, to get rid of or to bring something out of the exponent, we can use our properties of logs. So I'm gonna take the natural log of both sides. So that's going to give me the natural log of L equals the limit as x goes to infinity of the natural log of x to the one over x power. Now my properties of logs say I can take this power and I can bring it down in front and rewrite it as a coefficient. So I will have the natural log of L is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of one over x times the ln of x. We also, knowing that we're going to want something that is a quotient, might go ahead and before we even try to evaluate this, rewrite it as the limit as x goes to infinity of ln x over x. So now, as x goes to infinity, the behavior for ln of x increases without bound, so we know that goes off to infinity, and of course, as x goes to infinity, x would go towards infinity. So now we have that infinity over infinity indeterminate form that allows us to bring in L'Hopital's rule. So LH just indicates I'm gonna use L'Hopital's rule. So I have the ln of L is equal to, now my limit will say, the limit as x goes to infinity of, my derivative for ln of x is one over x, and my derivative for x is one. So, this is now the limit as x goes to infinity of one over x. As x goes to infinity, of course, here we get one over something going to infinity, which behaves like zero. Now, normally we would box and be finished, but remember, we are looking for the limit value L. What we have right now is that the ln of L equals zero. So to solve this for L, we're gonna raise both sides of our equation as a power of E. E to the ln of L would just be L and E to the zero is one. So our original limit, limit as X goes to infinity of X to the one over X power is equal to one. All right, for our next example, we're gonna look at the limit as x goes to zero from above of x to the three x power. So here, going and initially trying to see what's going on, as x goes to zero from above, x is going to go to zero, and as x goes to zero from above, three x is also going to go to zero. So here we have our zero to the zero power indeterminate form. So to deal with these exponential indeterminate forms, we're gonna give our limit a label, call it L for limit, and use the properties of logs to bring this three X down. So taking the natural log of both sides, I have natural log of L equals the limit as X goes to zero from above of the natural log of X raised to the three X. Using my log properties, I can bring that three X down and make it a coefficient. So the ln of L 
equals limit as x goes to 0 from above of 3x times ln of x. Now that that 3x is down, let's try to evaluate here. So as x goes to 0 from above, 3x is going to 0 times, as x goes to 0 from above, ln of x is going to negative infinity. So here we have another indeterminate form. 0 times negative infinity is indeterminate. However, it is not the type of indeterminate that we need in order to use L'Hopital's rule. So we're going to do a little bit of rewriting here. In this case, a little bit of creative rewriting. So ln of L is going to be the limit as x goes to 0 from above. Here we're going to think multiplying by 3x is the same as dividing by the reciprocal of that, or 1 over 3x. Now, when we try to evaluate, the limit as x goes to 0 from above of ln x goes to negative infinity. And the limit as x goes to 0 from above of 1 over 3x goes to infinity. So now we're in quotient form. We have one of our L'Hopital's rule applicable indeterminate forms. So we'll go ahead and bring L'Hopital's rule in and say that our natural log of L is equal to the limit as x goes to 0 from above of, taking the derivatives here independently, derivative of ln of x is 1 over x, and the derivative of 1 over 3x is negative 1 over 3x squared. So I'm going to do a little bit of simplification here, making this the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 over x times 3x squared over negative 1. Simplifying here now, I have the limit as x goes to 0 from above of, one of my x's is going to simplify out, and I'm just going to have negative 3x. Now I can try to evaluate, as x goes to 0 from above, this is negative 3 times 0, which goes to 0. Now remember, that is not our limit, that is what we have for natural log of our limit. So natural log of L is equal to 0, and to access this L, or to solve for that, we'll raise both sides of our equal sign as the exponent of E. So e to the ln of l just becomes l, and e to the 0 is again 1. So our actual limit value for the limit as x goes to 0 from above of x to the 3x is 1. For our final problem here, we're going to look at the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 2 over x raised to the x power. If we start our initial evaluation here, we get 1 plus 2 over something going towards infinity raised to the something going towards infinity power. So we know that 2 over infinity would tend towards 0, so this center part would go towards 1. 1 raised to, or something going towards 1 raised to something going towards infinity is indeterminate. So, in order to deal with an exponential indeterminate form, we're going to use our properties of logs. So if we call this limit L, we have L equals the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 2 over x raised to the x power. Taking the natural log of both sides, we get the ln of L is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of the ln of 1 plus 2 over x raised to the x power. Now using our log property and bringing this x down, we get ln of l is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of x times ln of 1 plus 2 over x. Just like in the last one here, we know that we're going to need something that is a quotient. 
So before we try to evaluate, let's go ahead and think, I know multiply by x is going to be the same as divide by the reciprocal. So that's gonna give me ln of one plus two over x divided by one over x. So here again, multiply by x is the same as divide by one over x. Now, if we go to evaluate here, as x goes to infinity, the inside here of our log goes towards one, and we have one over infinity here. Ln of one is behaving like zero and a constant over something going towards infinity also behaving like zero. So now we have zero over zero, one of the indeterminate forms that allows us to apply L'Hopital's rule. So let's do just that. L'Hopital's rule says that ln of L will be equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of here, as I take my derivative of ln one plus two over x, the derivative of one plus two over x will be negative two over x squared divided by one plus two over x. And then I'll take separately my derivative of one over x, which will be negative one over x squared. Now this is a bit of a mess, so we're definitely going to simplify here first before we start to evaluate. So I'm gonna think of negative two over x squared over one plus two over x as one fraction, and I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of my denominator here, thinking of that as x squared over negative one. So I can see here that my x squareds would cancel out and negative two divided by negative one would make positives. So now I have the limit as x goes to infinity of two over one plus two over x. That is still ln of L. So now that that's a bit simpler, let's try to evaluate. So as x is going to infinity, two is just going to two, and one plus two over something going to infinity well, that two over infinity is gonna behave like zero, so this is gonna be like two over one or two. So we have that the ln of L is equal to two. So solving for L, we have L equals E squared. All right guys, that does it for this video on L'Hopital's rule with exponential indeterminate forms. Until next time, we'll catch you in the next one.